President Trump's Health and Human Services Secretary, Tom Price, joins me now. Mr. Secretary, this week President Trump said you were responsible for the passage of a health care bill. Here's what he said about you. Hopefully, he's going to get the votes tomorrow to start our path toward killing this horrible thing known as Obamacare that's really hurting us. So he better get them. Oh, he better. Otherwise, I'll say, Tom, you're fired. I'll get somebody. Safe to stay, say you still have your job, and I know you say it was a joke, but there was a message to you there. What could you have done differently? Do you feel you let the president down? Oh, I think what that what that statement was. One, I think it was it was uh, a humorous uh, comment that the president made. But I think what it what it uh, highlighted is the seriousness with which he takes this issue. He understands that the American people are hurting because of Obamacare. We've got over 30 percent of the counties across this nation that only have one insurer offering coverage. We've got premiums up. We've got deductibles up. We've got insurance companies fleeing the market. The president understands that this the Obamacare right now is not working for the patients across this land, and that's what he wants to fix. That's what his passion is. Well, the president also talked repeatedly this week about letting Obamacare implode. As recently as Friday, he was calling for that. But this is what he said last February. From a purely political standpoint, the single best thing we can do is nothing. Let it implode completely. But it's not the right thing to do for the American people. It's not the right thing to do. So what is it going to be? Is he going to let it implode or, as he says, do the right thing for the American people? No, I think what the president said is that it's not the right thing to do because it hurts people. Uh, what the pre the, again, the president's passion about this is that he understands that this system may be working for Washington, it may be working for insurance companies, but it's not working for patients. And that's where his passion is. That's why he, he keeps coming back to this and saying, look, Senate, do your job. Congress, do your job. You've said for seven years that, you're, that, that you are going to repeal and replace Obamacare. Now get to work and get it done. But, but this week, he said he was going to let it implode. Is that what he's going to do? No, I think, again, that, that that punctuates the concern that he has about getting this moved in the right direction. There are people, we, we were in the White House this past week with the president and four families. Uh, one, one little fellow, Monty uh, Weir, a three year old little fellow with spina bifida. Uh, their insurance company, this is a, this is a, a challenge for anybody, but, it, but it, what it means is that you've got to have a single physician caring for you throughout the extent of, of, of that treatment. And their, their insurance has changed three times in three years. Years because of Obamacare. This is a system, again, that's not working for patients. And that's what the president understands. That's what he appreciates. That's why he's so passionate about making certain that he does all that he can to get this repealed but, and replaced but, with a system that says, works for patients. But he says, let it, let Obamacare implode, then deal. What does that mean? Well, I, I, again, I think what that does is punctuate the seriousness with which he understands the American people are having to deal with the current situation. But so how's We've he going to deal with, with that are, it? That are paying premiums of $1,000 a month out there, and then they've got a deductible of $1,000. If you're making forty, fifty, sixty thousand bucks out there, and you've got an Obamacare plan, by and large, you've got an insurance card, but you don't have any care because you can't afford the deductible. You can't afford to get the care that the, that your physician uh, recommends for you. So again. Again, this system isn't working for patients. That's where the president's passion is, and that's why he believes so strongly that we need to do whatever we can do to repeal and replace it. Okay, let's talk about what you're going to do. HHS has the ability to further destabilize the marketplace by stopping cost-sharing payments to insurers, not enforcing the individual mandate, working internally to undermine it. You have said nobody is interested in sabotaging the system, so are you going to help it implode or try to fix it? The, the, the responsibility of the department is to improve the health and the safety and the well-being of the American people, and we take that mission extremely seriously, which is why we are so passionate about making certain that we've got a health care system, again, that works for patients. Right now, you've got a system that's not working for patients. You've got folks who, who give us calls every single day and let us know that the concern that they have about their inability to get care for their family. We've got calls from physicians across this land who let us know that they're no longer able to take care of the patients that they, they're charged with caring for because of the rules and the regulations that are coming out of Washington. So the ACA, the Obamacare, had uh, stated 1,442 times, 1,000 
442 times. The secretary shall or the secretary may. And what the previous administration do, did was make it so that it was harder to care for patients and drove up the cost of coverage and drove up the cost of care. We're going to look at every single one of those rules and regulations, all 1,442 of them, and determine, does it drive up costs? Does it drive down costs? Does it help patients? Does it hurt patients? And when it drives up costs and hurts patients, we're going to move in the other direction. Se Secretary Price, I just want to go back to this, uh, the president saying imploding. Is what the president is proposing, letting the existing system fail, putting the needs of patients first? I understand your Martha. views on Obamacare. Martha, uh, the current system is imploding. The president has stated it. I understand it. The, the American people understand it. Again, you've got insurance companies. You've got 83 insurance companies before this administration came into office that fled the market, that said, we can't do this anymore. You're going to have 40 percent of the counties in this, in this country next year that only have one insurance company providing coverage. That's not a choice. You're going to have dozens of, of counties in this country that have no insurance company providing coverage. This system has failed. That's what the president's saying. And that's why he is demanding that Congress act. Uh, if, if we could fix it by regulation, we would do so. But it takes an act of Congress to take care of it, and that's what the president is demanding. Let, let's talk about some specifics. As for insurance subsidies, the president tweeted, if a new health care bill is not approved quickly, bailouts for insurance companies and bailouts for members of Congress will end very soon. How soon could HHS stop paying cost-sharing payments to insurers? Next month, has the president made a decision? Well, no decision's been made. I'm not able to comment anymore because it's a court case. And as you know, the defendant in that case is Price. It's House v. Price. And so what I will tell you is that the court has said that, that uh, the House position uh, was that the uh, previous administration, the administration, didn't have any authority to make those payments. And the court has, at this point, agreed with that House position. So it's working its way through the court, but I'm not able to, uh, to weigh in any further because of the defend, uh, being the defendant in the case. Okay. What about the individual mandate? Is the president considering directing his agencies not to enforce it? Have you ruled that out? Well, the individual mandate is one of those things that actually is driving up the cost for the American people in terms of coverage. So what we're trying to do is make it so that Obamacare is no longer harming the patients of this land, no longer driving up costs, no longer making it so they've got coverage but, but no care. Uh, and, and the individual mandate is one of those things. And the Senate recognized it, the House recognized it, and, and put in place in their, in their legislation that they passed in the House and proposed in the Senate a repeal of the penalty for the individual mandate. That's one of the things that's driving the costs up, making it so people don't have coverage. President Trump did sign an executive order allowing HHS to waive the individual mandate again. So that's still an option, right? Well, all, all things are on the table to try to help patients. Again, what we're trying to do is to make it so we have a health care system that responds to the needs of the American people. And when the federal government gets in the way of responding to those needs, allowing the American people to actually provide coverage and care for them, themselves across this land, then it's incumbent up, upon us as policymakers and as individuals who charge with the responsibility of leading to put in place a system that actually works for the American people. That's what the president's passion is. That's what our passion is. Thanks very much for joining us this morning, Secretary Price. Thank you, Martha.